Hi there, this is Tony from Pianotone.ca. I never thought I'd be reviewing a uh, piano bench, but here we are. This is my review on the Liquid Stands adjustable keyboard bench. Uh, this is probably going to be my shortest review ever, but let's check it out. Okay, so why am I bothering to do a review on a piano bench? Well, this uh, bench is a bit more expensive than your basic uh, fold-up uh, X-style benches. Currently sells on Amazon for about 70 US dollars. But after buying it, I felt I should do a review because it really is awesome and it's worth every penny. I needed a new bench and I was looking for one that could go a little bit higher than the on-stage uh, X-style bench I've been using for the last couple of years. That's what I'm sitting on right now. And I have to admit that I had the liquid stand bench in my Amazon shopping cart a couple of times and kept thinking, I don't need to spend this much money on a bench. But then as I thought about how the $20 US cheap bench I bought on Amazon about a year ago as an extra bench, uh, it turned out to be kind of a total waste of money. Uh, I went ahead and ordered the liquid stands bench and I could not be happier. Just on a side note, one of the things uh, that was uh, uh, an issue with that $20 cheap bench were the uh, kind of the little nubs. I'll show you on the liquid stands one. These things that were on the end on my uh, cheap bench, they were really cheaply made and they uh, three out of four of them cracked uh, within a month or so of, uh, of owning it. And then uh, I tried you know, duct taping it to the leg to hold it in place so that I could put a pad to protect my hardwood floor. Turned out to be a big mess and that stand is now in my storage room. I'll only use it if I'm gonna you know, go play in a park someplace or whatever. Okay, so the liquid stands bench is super, super sturdy. Uh, the legs are really, really substantial. They're very solid stainless steel and they're bolted right into the bench. And there's also a very sturdy side bracket kind of brace as well that bolts into the leg and into the bench. Uh, this makes it extremely stable. It's not wobbly at all and super, super sturdy. Their website actually says it can hold up to 250 pounds and I totally believe it. And just as I was hoping, uh, it goes an inch and a half or so higher than my old bench, which is exactly what I needed. I love my new Yamaha P125, but it's a super thick piano. And at my uh, old bench's height, which is what I'm sitting on right now, my elbows are just a little bit uh, below the key level, and that's not really a good thing. While I could adjust the uh, keyboard bench uh, to go up and down, I do a lot of reviews. I'm always moving my keyboards and pianos around. And if I was to adjust it down to uh, make up for the fact that this P125 is quite thick, then I'd have to adjust it up for a review and adjust it down when I put the P125 back, etc. So getting a bench that just goes a little bit higher is uh, an awesome thing for me. It can actually go from 17 and a half inches to 22 inches, which is awesome. To uh, adjust it, super easy. There's uh, five holes. Uh, you just basically Loosen the, uh, the knob there and then uh, pick the hole that you want and then uh, slide it back in and lock it back into place. Super easy. And the uh, polyurethane leather seat is actually really firm, um, quite comfortable. It is also brand new, so we'll see how that holds up. And to top it off, it comes with a three-year uh, warranty against defects. Another kind of a cool feature, I'm not sure if I'll ever make use of or not, is the legs. The uh, nubs on these legs, which are a lot nicer than the ones on that cheap stand I was telling you about, have these ridges built in, which is to allow you to uh, adjust the, you know, make some height modifications left and right or whatever if you're on an uneven surface, most likely if you're playing outside somewhere. So that's a pretty cool feature. You do have to assemble it yourself, but it takes no time at all. They include all the bolts and washers you need along with an Allen key, so there's no tools required. It's probably not quite as portable as a fold-up bench would be, but that's fine by me. It's not like it's going to take up a huge amount of room in the back of my car if I ever decided to use it as a portable bench. So the verdict on the Liquid Stands uh, keyboard bench, it's awesome. I highly recommend it. Given that I do use uh, two piano benches in my place, I will definitely be buying another one of these to replace my onstage uh, bench down the road sometime. I have a good feeling that these are going to last me a very long time. They're just very solidly built. So anyhow, I've included an Amazon link uh, to check out current prices in your area on this bench. And I've also included links to some piano training I recommend. And if you want to stick around after I say goodbye here, I've included the unboxing and assembly video if you feel like watching that, but there really isn't much to it. So thanks a bunch for checking out this review and happy piano playing. Here's the uh, unboxing and assembly. Have an awesome day. Okay, so there's the box that my stand came in. Uh, you get a nice little uh, note from the, uh, from the owner. And some info on the liquid stands. Assembly instructions. It's 
some hardware in here. These brackets are really heavy duty, by the way. That's extremely solid. And it looks like I won't need a screwdriver. Sent an Allen key, also cool. Some uh, bubble wrap, I'll play with that later. These are really, really heavy duty. Extremely well put together bench. That's really solid. Wow. Man, seems like a soft cushion. Let's compare it to my uh, existing piano stool. This is my on stage stool, which isn't high enough, and that's why I got this other one. So let's check out these height adjustments. Those are the uh, adjustment levels that you've got. So you've got uh, six height levels you can choose from. Let's try the highest one out. That's perfect because my other bench at its highest level was just about an inch too short. And super, super solid. 